Yo, hey guys. So in our tic-tac-toe game, uh, we're able to determine uh, who won. But one of the problems that we didn't address in the last video that someone mentioned to me is the lack of a draw uh, function. Okay, so in tic-tac-toe, obviously, you can have a lot of draws. Um, and we want to make it so that once all the boxes are full uh, and no one won, then we want to display a draw uh, alert dialog. Okay, so that they can play again and no one's scores are affected. All right, so we're gonna have to implement this. So one way we can do this is, like one way to check if all of our boxes are full is I'm just gonna create an integer up here where our variables are. So I'm gonna say integer, let's call it field boxes and let's set it to be zero. Okay, so every time we tap, I'm gonna say field boxes and we're gonna add one. Okay, so hopefully, you know, if you tap nine times, then we can check if field boxes is equal to nine, then the whole board is full. Um, but one problem with putting this line of code here is that it, it can go beyond nine. So this just can, this field boxes will only execute when um, one of the buttons are tapped. Right, and sometimes you can tap, even if you if I continue tapping on the same box, it's gonna recognize it as a tap. Okay, so we don't want that to happen. We only want to consider it as a tap once we placed um, an O or we placed an X in there. Okay, otherwise the count is just gonna go insanely high if we just keep tapping it. Right? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and will the with the field boxes uh, what we're going to do is, if the field boxes, let's go to this check winner, and at the very bottom, I'm just going to say, else if, uh, whoops, that's not a good way to do it, else if, um, let's say, show draw dialog. Okay, we haven't created this one, but that's what I want it to show, and I want it to show when our field boxes is equal to 9. Whoops is equal to 9. Okay, so um, in all of these other conditions that checks for a winner, it just all does if statements and at the very end I'm just going to put an else if so that if no one won and all the boxes are full, then that means there must be a draw. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to have to we're going to have to make this uh, draw dialog, short show draw dialog function. And it's going to be very similar to this show win dialog. All right, so I'm just going to copy and paste and make another one. And let's call this show draw dialog. Uh, we're not going to pass through anything because we have no winner. And we're not going to say that there is a winner. We're just going to say um, draw. Sorry. Draw. And also, we don't want to change any scores as well. Okay, and the last thing we want to do is um, in our clear board, which is going to get triggered um, when we play again, it's going to clear the board and make everything nil. And we want to make sure at the end of this that also um, that also we set the field boxes back to back to nil. Okay, so that if I clear it, then none of the boxes have been filled, and then we're just going to continue that on. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And let's see if this works. So let's run this. Okay, I'm going to purposely make a draw happen. So let's do these. Okay, hopefully we get a draw dialog. And yep, there it is. And play again. It's going to clear everything, and then say filled boxes is back to zero. Okay, and then when we tap again, it's going to continue on. Okay, so yeah, that's just what this video is dedicated for, just that draw function. Cool. Um, in the following videos, I'm just going to clean this up a little, um, change some fonts. I think the game logic after that draw function is pretty much complete. Okay, so we'll just polish um, the app up and just add a splash screen and things like that. Alright, sweet. Thanks. I'll catch you guys in the next one.